Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Google Analytics in a Rails 7 app. So right here, I have my blog app from previous episodes, and I'm going to use this to show you how to set up Google Analytics. Now, this is helpful because you can track the page views, and also you can get some information about your users that are viewing your website. So to get started, we can is open up the analytics console now I already have some apps so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a new app actually they call it account and create a new account and I'm gonna call it test blog then I can press next and then I'm also gonna call this test blog and then select this industry can be entertainment and then now you can select what you want to do with your analytics this is up to you but for me I'm just gonna say that I want to learn how people use my site and get some reports and also analyze the visitor metrics so I'm gonna create and then you can accept their terms and then select the platform. So here you'd want to enter the URL of your app. Um, I'm just going to enter in a dummy URL. And then press create stream. Now, after that, to install it, it'll actually pop up the installation through instructions. We're going to click on install manually. And now to get this to work nicely in the Rails app, this, we actually need to change this up a bit. So I'll show you how we can do that. So first, to add this in, I'm just gonna copy this URL. And then I'm gonna open up that app. I think the one that I'm in is Turbo Blog, okay. So inside of here, I'm gonna open up app that views and then go to the application.html and in here I'm going to add a javascript include tag and I'm going to set it to that URL so it's going to include the javascript for Google Analytics and then the other thing we need to do to initialize Google Analytics is this code here so to do that we're going to go to javascript application.js and we're going to add an event listener on the document and that's going to be for turbo load so this is how it's going to get along with turbo because every time the turbo load event gets fired we can initialize the google analytics and we're going to use this function and we're also going to pass in the id so actually what i'm going to do is i don't want it to be recording locally so what we can do is we can do a condition rails.emb.production and then we can wrap that javascript include tag the google analytics and then also i'm actually going to add in a meta tag so we can pass the google analytics id do that you can add the name and then you add the content which I'm going to use the ID from here and then in here we can do um, that Google ID equals document.query selector we're going to find that meta so set this to name equals Google Analytics ID Content. Then we can do a condition if Google ID, then we're gonna do this. And then instead of hard coding the ID, we can pass it here. Now the cool thing about this is it'll automatically won't run this code if it's not production because we won't be setting this made ID. But real quickly, we can run it without so we can see what that looks like. It should be working fine. I do inspect and then 
if you watch the network tab, we should be able to see that request going for the Google Analytics. We should be able to see this in here. So right here, there's the collecting calls. So that's just to capture some information about the user. And then if we open up the dashboard, we should be able to see a little bit of information. So I'm still in this account. Let me go to the test account. Yep, it already recorded one user, so that's me, and it's gonna show my information. So as you can see, it's already working. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this back, and now I'm ready to push this code to production and start getting some analytics about my website. So thanks everybody. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be posting more videos about Ruby on Rails and Hotwire and Turbo Native and other features and how to build stuff with these technologies so thanks for watching